It's 31st of January and tomorrow, 1st of February 2025 is the day for your GATE. GATE examination computer science gon gonna happen tomorrow. And today I am, not I am actually, we are here to talk about something, some, some points which are very, very honest. So let's start our honest talk. You might have heard about number of aspirants. Computer science number of aspirants this year have been increased. IIT Roorkee director has announced this particular thing in the news report. So I'll invite one of our you know, most loved faculty, Satya sir. Uh, I'll talk and I'll ask him how exactly this is gonna you know impact your mindset. So Satya sir, do you feel uh, number of aspirants are increasing? Then uh, the students are you know afraid. Uh, how now my seats will be taken by somebody else or competition is increasing yes. just one day before the examination such kind of news is coming out yes so yes how exactly so stress definitely there will be stress undoubtedly Fine. it is very common mm. but one fact is that there may be nine and a half lakh students or five and a half lakh and maybe in the future it may become 19 and a half lakh but for every student there will be only one admission or one seat right so I think there is no actual need of feeling that stress or taking that fear, sir, what I feel. So actually there is no point of uh, uh, making it nervous or feeling it, feeling it nervous, dear friends, because number of aspirants compared with the previous years, there may be an increase, but I feel the serious aspirants count will be always consistent. Sir. They, they, the number of attendees or applicants can increase, but the serious aspirants growth will be definitely consistent. This is what I feel, sir. There is no need to feel fear about it. Ji, sir. Okay. Uh, I do have another question and that particular question I will ask to Aditya, sir. Aditya Jain, sir. Uh, one day before exam. Yes, sir. No sleep, too much of stress, too much of thinking, you know, thought process and lot of things are going on in the head. Yes, sir. Were you able to sleep before your exam <laughs> and these guys, how they will sleep? Sure, sir. So very, very valid question actually. So as I've given gate quite recently as compared to what we can say. So it's like 2019, around four, four, five years back, right? So I still remember that it was 3rd Feb on which the gate exam was there, right? 3rd Feb 2020, uh, 2019 actually. So I remember, sir, that uh, no matter how much I tell, the honest thing is that if it is important to you, you won't be able to sleep. Okay, that's that's pretty obvious thing. But what I would suggest is I will give you a logical answer to it. So friends, see, uh, just, just uh, think about it. Like it won't matter if you study two hours more on the last day. But what would actually matter is if you take two hours extra sleep. Okay, so you will have a very clever mind. You will have a very fresh mind. And gate is not an exam of just knowledge. Gate is an exam of knowledge, aptitude, your attitude, your presence of mind. So I would say that my rank was improved because I had that plus X factor. Everyone has knowledge, right, sir? Right. If they are appearing for the gate exam, they have knowledge. That's that's obvious. If they are studying for a year, they have knowledge, right? But what gives them that extra edge is their presence of mind. And so presence of mind comes when you are not too much into the game, when you are looking at the broader aspect. Okay. And one, one more thing that I would suggest is many people have this habit of studying till the last minute. And again, no matter how much I say it will happen, right? I have also done that. But uh, the technical and the logical answer, because we are, sir, gate students, we need logical answers, right? So what happens is if you study something till the very last minute, you might have noticed this in your engineering college exams that whatever you have studied in the last hour stays in your mind for a very, very fresh hours, right? And just think about it, there is an entire gate paper of 10 subjects and you are just recalling only one topic in your mind, hmm. how bad that could be, right? So I would suggest that don't study till the last minute. It's very, very important to have a fresh mind. It's very important to have a presence of mind mindset. I would just suggest just take proper sleep and just go with your confidence because if you have studied, it will not matter if you study one less day, two less day, but the good night sleep will matter a lot. And that worked really well for me, sir. Okay. I'll ask a question to you guys. Are you able to eat really just because see it happens when the pressure, you know, comes out, uh, your food intake decreases. You, you are too much tensed. You are not able to eat or, you know, chew properly, or you are not able to even swallow your food. So just give the answer in the comment box. 
I will answer for the same thing that when I was writing the gate examination one day before, as you are saying, sir, yes, sir, yes. Uh, that uh, you'll have to keep you know mind fresh or something. Absolutely. I was playing cricket. Okay. Literally, <laughs> when my final attempt was there, I was playing cricket, gully cricket, plastic okay. ball, okay. and all those young kids who are you know first year, second year student engineering, Easy. they were, Bhaiya, how can you get right <laughs> tomorrow? You have gate examination. How is it possible? Then uh, you know uh, what happened that. Uh, I told them that see whatever I studied, mm. studied right. done. Now I'll have to just focus on my tomorrow's attempt, right. as sir told. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So this is what exactly we wanted to tell you. Of course, you will have fear right. for sure. Yes, right. you will have tension. Mm. Tomorrow nerves will be there for sure. But as soon as you enter into the classroom and as soon as you see the very first question, your entire focus will shift from the tension and pressure. How the question will come, how yes. the paper will come yes. to this question, how to solve it. <clears throat> and if you can shift your focus, done. Your paper will be amazing, your attempt will be amazing. Sir, yeah. that one just one minute before the paper, that pressure, you know, right. uh, something is happening inside the stomach. <laughs> yes, that sir. butterflies are going. Yes. How exactly you know cope up with that feel? Sir, one point what you were telling is a very, very valid point. Not just one minute, even during solving the question, 65 questions, maybe after 20 questions, it may habituate for the student, but for 1 to 20 questions, the same butterfly feeling will be there. <laughs> okay, but uh, one point uh, what actually student has to understand, every student has to understand is, suppose the first five questions a student is unable to make. Usually what happens honestly, as it is a honest time, all right, Gaya paper. I could not make it. But please, students, remember this point. Every question is important. When first few questions you are unable to make means don't worry because there are more 60 questions to you, right? So don't just take the impressions or uh, take some nervousness or fear feeling just very, very initially. And one more point, like I would like to add, sir, with your permission, suppose as Aditya Jain sir said and our uh, Gothi sir said, suppose without uh, taking this expert's insight into and you were preparing till in, even on the last day also, can something change? Honestly, Batadu, you just tell me honestly, just with one day preparation, can you change anything? Since one year or two years somebody prepared, and in one day, what can be changed? One day, one can be changed, as you say. We can keep our body healthy so that our mind will be healthy, so that our performance definitely will be healthy in the during the exam, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. True. Yeah. Okay, uh, sir. One last question to uh, Aditya, sir. Uh, the question is like you know when a student write the paper. Yes, sir. They spend more than required time to solve mm. a specific question just because that ego problem is there. Correct. This correct. is my Five. favorite course. This mm. is my favorite <laughs> subject. I love this. I have solved hundreds of questions of this. Correct. This is the course taught by my favorite teacher. Correct. I cannot make it wrong. How can I not get the correct answer of this question? Absolutely. And that ego when comes. Correct. One particular question, let's say 10 minutes, 12 minutes they have spent. Gone. Then. Because of that, at the end, cascading uh, effect. Yes, lesser mm. time will be remaining for the last. Yes, sir. Uh, let's say one hour remaining and uh, half more questions are remaining. Correct, correct. So again, that you know, pressure comes and totally not, understood. They'll not read the question. Correct. And something. Panic. What exactly? So this solution? this feeling is so relatable. Uh, like uh, in the last month, I am I literally didn't spend too much time studying, but I spent that time preparing my mindset for all these situations. So what I used to do is. I used to just close my eyes and used to think of all possible scenarios. Exact same thing that Satya sir has said. I have also prepared myself that first five questions would not be solved. So sir, uh, to sum up everything, uh, uh, for your uh, for the problem that you have suggested, what I did is a simple engineering brain. Okay, you have 65 questions. You have three hours, which is 180 minutes. Just divide one, divide 180 minutes with 65. You get on an average how much time to spend on a question. That comes out to be around 2.5 to 3. Okay, now what you have to do is from 2.5 to 3, some questions will be one mark questions, theoretical questions, they will be solved within 30 seconds. And 
two minutes remaining of that question that will go into question which can be solved in five minutes okay so what we need to understand is if we have on an average how much time is to be spent per question we will never fall into this problem because as soon as i used to see that around 2.5 to 3 minutes have been done on this question i used to just jump on to the next question and the logical answer i would give is gate exam is not going to answer which questions have you solved there is no extra marks for solving tough questions ultimately what matters is how many good Number questions of. correct questions you have solved right and i would like to add one <laughs> point yes sir uh, i would like to add one point to your question which is a very very relatable question sir the students will emotionally connect to the questions or subject or the teacher nah. as you say <laughs> even i i have got some feedback from the students Correct. sir when when i was teaching uh, the programming sir i have prepared uh, programming very well but i have done a silly mistake sir so with that i i have i was like it was a mess it it took almost 10 minutes of my time and this is what actually students will do honestly but dear students you people understand there are 10 plus 2 subjects or 12 subjects or in the da paper let's say very le less number of subjects every subject has its own weightage every subject every question has its own weightage okay. yes so this emotional connect whatever you feel that is actually not good being in the exam while you are preparing yes you can emotionally connect love the subject with love you if you learn you will be understanding the concepts even more better and if you love the teacher also definitely the way you attend the classes the way you put your uh, presence and uh, brain that would be even more better but while the exam it is not so practice while you write the mock exams at least uh, tomorrow cs gate exam is there so cs students may not be able to do but at least da students can practice this while mock tests not getting emotionally connected to any question because every question is important every subject has its own weightage right sir yeah that is what actually i wanted to add sir okay fine so at the end i just want to tell you gate exam you are attempting that is a national level exam lakhs of students are competing against you maybe they are preparing or not preparing doesn't matter at least thousands of students against you standing so that they can snatch their own seat or their own rank so it's tough job you are preparing since long you have been investing your entire energy your efforts your uh, resources into this preparation so this now the the specific time has come when you can show whatever you have learned and earned during these this particular journey this is now the time to show to the world that you did it and you will do it you did the preparation now you will say tomorrow yes i cracked the gate also so tomorrow the gate exam is there stay healthy stay safe stay cool calm and keep your mind peaceful so that tomorrow you can be in the best possible mindset and definitely you are gonna crack, crack it